Hi everyone, my name is Lucy Emmanuel. In today's video, we are cooking a kusi with tomato paste. So I'm using tomato paste to cook this a kusi. Here I have tomato paste and I have some shombo and tatashi in here. And here are the uh, hot pepper we are using. This is yellow hot pepper we are using. And here I have my fish, my iru. I have my stock fish over here and my beef meat. And I also use water leaf to cook this tomato paste ekusi. Here we have pomo and here is our ekusi. And we have here two cubes of seasoned maki. So guys, let's start the cooking. So guys, here is our blended curry fish. And here is my blended onions, which is I'm going to use it to spice this ekusi that is here. So guys, here is the ekusi and onions, and I add a little bit of salt. My hand is well washed because I like using my hand to mix the ekusi. I feel like mixing my ekusi with the hand make it well mixed. our meat and our pomo on the fire let's season in it you can see so now we have the meat on the fire let's blend this it's time to start cooking here we have our empty pot on the fire and here we have our meat boiling so let's start frying up our tomato so guys what i have here is palm oil this is my palm oil That is my palm oil, guys. And here is the boiled meat. So, guys, let's check our oil. Here is our palm oil. And what I add inside this palm oil is salt. The next thing is my onions. And now this is my tomato paste. This is my tomato paste, guys. I'm going to let it fry. So guys, here is the tomatoes. So what I'm putting to fry is my iru. I'll keep frying, guys. So I'll let the iru and the tomatoes paste to fry it very well. The next thing I'm putting is my branded shombo. Okay. And this 
also check the meat and you can see here is the meat so what we need inside here now is the stock fish so we need stock fish inside the meat here is my stock fish We need a little bit of the stock water to use. So now that we add the stock water it's time to put our ikusi in so what you need to do is to cut your ikusi tiny and put inside Okay, you can use a spoon to cut this, but I love cutting it with my hand. I think it's a little bit faster than... So, okay, I'll see you guys after I finish cutting it, okay? So, I love cutting my goosey in my hand because, to me, it's a little bit faster than using spoon, okay? Stay still. So guys, we are done cutting the ekusi in. We have to cover this pot for like three minutes and we come back to turn it. So once you finish cutting your ekusi inside the fried tomato, don't turn it and let it steam for three minutes and you come back for it, okay? Remember, before you do that, you're going to add a little bit of your stock meat water or chicken anything you want to use and cook it so that you will not burn the ekusi so guys we are coming back in three minutes time so guys this is our three minute time you can see the pot here So guys, you need to cover it down again for another three minutes for the ekusi to be well cooked and done. So guys, here is our three minute time. So we still need to cover it again for two minutes. So guys, here is another three minute time. So what we need to put is our meat, stock fish and the stock.
So guys, after we put our meat stock and the meat and the stock fish, you can see how the soup the soup look like. So what you need to do is to cover it and let the stock of the meat steam very well. So guys, here is two minutes. Woohoo! This is our Ikusi soup. Eh? Hmm. It's hot, man. So what we need now? This is our grill fish. And here is our fish. And here is our one keep of maki. Yeah. This maki actually has two keep inside. So remember, we use one before to steam the meat. a little bit of water so guys it's time to put our water leaf inside This is what I leave, guys. So, guys, we have come to the end of this cooking. We have come to the end of this cooking, guys. Our tomato toast egusi soup is ready. This is how I make my tomatoes paste egusi soup. Now, here it is. Our soup is ready. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Turn on your post notification so that you'll be notified anytime I cook a new food and when I post a new video. For now, bye bye. See you guys on my next video.